so the most important topic of csi net unit 1 that is biochemistry uh this topics includes uh, continuing with uh, enzyme catalysis and inhibition here mostly you need to read and remember about the equation of enzyme catalysis and that includes uh, that uh, form eddy hofstede plot as well as little bit of leibniz burg plot uh, as well as uh, the michaelis menten equation and uh, what is uh, the role of km what is enzyme affinity uh, enzyme subunits as well as enzyme allosteric regulation process enzyme regulation in a whole it particularly enzyme inhibition competitive uncompetitive non competitive and mixed inhibition with graph carbohydrate biochemistry includes uh, the structure and function of carbohydrates including monosaccharide disaccharide so in this case you need to remember the example of disaccharides and polysaccharides and what are they made up with you also need to know about the stereochemistry a little bit enantiomers isomers epimers anomers and all then goes like protein biochemistry Uh, this is where you need to read uh, the primary structure secondary structure tertiary structure quaternary structure of the proteins particularly you need to know uh, the importance of all these different structures how they are organized uh, you don't need to go with the protein folding much but particularly the protein domains uh, as well as motifs and and some example of domain and motifs and then there will be hemoglobin and myoglobin hemoglobin and myoglobin structure their function particularly the hemoglobin oxygen saturation curve it's very important for csn net perspective okay as well as the hemoglobin oxygen saturation curve uh, for a native uh, person living in higher altitude uh, compared with a person living in lower altitude as well as the hemoglobin oxygen saturation curve for the infant and a normal uh, adult or, uh, person okay and also uh, myoglobin and why hemoglobin my what is the difference between hemoglobin and myoglobin in terms of oxygen saturation curve you also need to know about the fibrous protein and example keratin and collagen okay you need to know the composition and how their structure is glycolysis as regarding the biochemistry uh, metabolism now glycolysis particularly in metabolism the aerobic and anaerobic respiration both you need to remember in anaerobic respiration you need to know uh, regarding the different types of fermentation uh, particularly two types here yeah, lactic acid fermentation and and uh, the ethanol fermentation the difference and the core cycle and in the other hand there is glycolysis uh, there is tca cycle mean scrape cycle there are pyruvate dehydrogenase uh, complex and electron transport chain gluconeogenesis pentose phosphate pathway all now remember the the marks and the numbers written after the name of the topic indicates the total number of question you can expect in group c from this corresponding topics zero or one means you can either get a question or not uh, it doesn't matter a lot okay now you get a glycogen metabolism and particularly the conversion of glucose into glycogen and storing them and also breaking glycogen into glucose and how exactly the blood glucose is regulated by two different hormones insulin as well as glucagon and along with that another very important thing for unit 1 for csi net exam is the math problems from biochemistry and particularly the math problems from enzyme catalysis the the different formula regarding enzyme catalysis that is enzyme affinity as well as the catalytic efficiency of enzymes and you need to know how to calculate them then there will be questions regarding uh, the protein or uh, peptide sequencing and as well as there are questions regarding the titration curve of different amino acids they will ask you to find out the pi values of different amino acids and peptides sequences as well uh, apart from that there will be questions regarding uh, the half life decay problems and there will also be questions from the gibbs free energy change so these are the topics which are not exactly the part of biochemistry but actually is a part of a raw chemistry and they can also ask you question regarding uh, this protein uh, structures and functions and where there is another very interesting concept of ramachandran plot very very important you can get a question from ramachandran plot every time and they can also ask you question regarding the fluor facts or fluorescent assorted cell sorting or fluorescent mediated cell sorting process okay that's regarding unit 1 now unit 2 for csir ugc net exam and unit 2 is cell biology of csir net exam and the most important topic of csir net exam for unit 2 are cell membrane structure and function that is regarding uh, the cell membranes uh, internal structure the models the current models as well as you need to know about a little bit of lipid rafts you need to know the membrane proteins the types of membrane proteins their function you need to also know about the uh, the the different transport uh, property of the membrane proteins and how exactly a carrier is different from a channel protein and all 
you also need to know about the membrane lipid asymmetry as well as uh, how exactly this lipid asymmetry is maintained and why it is so important membrane transport as i mentioned it includes the diffusion and osmosis rules as well along with that you need to know the active and passive transport of of membrane and remember the different uh, molecules going in and out of the membrane depending upon their permeability through membrane cell organelles cell organelles including all the organelles including nucleus golgi bodies mitochondria uh, lysosome uh, ribosome and all then there are vesicle trafficking in vesicle trafficking you need to know about how protein after production of the proteins how the proteins are packaged inside a vesicle and they are transported both retrograde and anterograde trafficking including cop1 cop2 proteins okay as well as the endocytosis processes receptor mediated endocytosis as well protein translocation in cell organelle how exactly the protein is delivered from the cell into organelle like mitochondria or delivering inside nucleus with the help of a nuclear localization signal and mitochondrial delivery signal how exactly it's done particularly for mitochondria and chloroplast as well as lysosome chromatin structure regulation this is regarding little bit of epigenetics chromatin structure and regulation uh, you know 30 nanometer fiber inner nucleosome structure and the components of the nucleosome you need to know the histone proteins the type of histone proteins and the all type of histone protein modification systems so this is really important for unit 2 now if you go to unit 3 that is uh, the molecular biology techniques and uh, not only techniques but rest of the molecular biology including the three important central dogma of biology topic like dna replication and dna replication you need to mostly focus on prokaryotic replication dna replication enzyme and their function dna replication in prokaryotes uh, tRNA charging and modification that is a question regarding the translation tRNA charging and modification which is a prerequisite of prokaryotic translation and protein synthesis you also need to know the protein synthesis in prokaryotes including the steps of protein synthesis as well as the different protein synthesis translation factors transcription in prokaryotes you need to remember the transcription process in prokaryotes in details regarding uh, the role of uh, RNA polymerase how exactly RNA polymerase helps in transcription and all as well as the transcription process in eukaryotes is also equally important and are in modification after transcription new carriers including the polyadenylation 5 prime capping and also rna editing process uh, from where there this is a lot of part of the rna biology is very much important for csa net perspective and csa net have been asking a lot of question from rna biology particularly from this part as well as the rna i technology both as well as any other genome editing tools that is discovered recently crispr cas9 is also a very very important topic in this talk, chapter now the other things that is equally important is the operon concept and the operon is kind of jumped between unit uh, sometimes say unit 8 you can say or sometimes you can say between unit 2 and 3 so operon is equally important lack operon particularly rna silencing technology rna i mrna si rna si rna technology and as i mentioned other uh, type of genome editing tool like crispr cas9 that is all about unit 3 for csa net now csa net unit 4 is the biggest unit and in unit 4 composed of cancer biology cell signaling immunology as well as host pathogen interaction topics so it's less economic you need to read a lot but you will get very less questions so be sure to write and check the number of question you can expect from each of these topics while you're preparing going with cell signaling pathways very less questions are asked from this part although you need to remember and read all the cell signaling processes particularly uh the cell signaling including g protein coupled receptor as well as you know receptor tyrosine kinase there is enzyme coupled receptor both are equally important host pathogen interaction can give you one to two questions and from there you can get questions like how exactly bacteria causes infection uh that means uh how exactly bacteria start causing uh, decay or any kind of infection that means simply colon attachment adherence colonization and different virulence factors of bacteria how exactly those virulence factors it help the bacteria to to move inside the tissue and the enzyme secreted by the bacteria to destroy the host tissue and colonize there and grow there cell division regulation cell division questions 1 to 2 and the cell division regulation include cdk and cyclins and all the cdk cyclin combinations for the different phases of cell cycle and cell cycle checkpoints why those checkpoints are uh, important and how exactly those che checkpoints are regulated and if there is any fault uh, during the cell cycle then how exactly the checkpoint would recognize the fault and how exactly the cell is going to recruit the checkpoint arrest with the help of proteins like p21 and p53 
you also need to know about the cell death signaling pathways like apoptosis signaling pathways that includes the intrinsic pathway of uh, apoptosis as well as extrinsic pathway of apoptosis mitochondrial apoptosis pathway and others and why apoptosis is so important particularly during development and you need to know the pathway of apoptosis clearly particularly those uh, apoptosome formation as well as the uh, disc formation and you also need to know about that uh, caspase pathway apoptosis uh, and role of p53 and how exactly p53 regulates uh, the cell uh, and then controls the cell for either death or survival how p53 recruits p21 and how exactly p21 is capable of arresting cell cycle at any particular phase cancer biology the onset of cancer and all the mechanisms of forming cancer particularly the properties of a cancer cell that means the hallmark of cancer like metastasis and geogenesis, uh, their details and importance of that for a cancer cell's perspective, as well as uh, the different transformation of cell strategy, that means how exactly the cell is transformed uh, from normal cell into malignant cell, including the insertion, deletion mutations, and translation, translocations uh, mutations as well. Cancer medication, and that includes all the type of cancer drugs that are discovered till this point, including monoclonal antibody that is against the Herceptin, that is against the breast cancer, as well as there are other examples. Uh, either it's a metabolic uh, process inhibitors, or it's a ATP binding inhibitor, cyclin CDK attachment inhibitors, and there are many more examples out there. You need to remember all those Glivector Seva. Some examples like Glivector Seva, uh, Herceptin, uh, and and all. Okay immunology in immunology you can get one to two question and there are so many topics that you need to prepare but particularly the questions from immunology will be from the toll like receptors and particularly the crosstalk between innate and adaptive form of immune system you also need to talk about the the adaptive immune response uh, that response took place afterwards when a person that is the immunological memory and how exactly immune response the primary and secondary immune response it's very very important for csr net perspective you also need to know about the vaccines for group b remember all the topics that we discussed are the important topics for csr net exam for group c not for the group b so that's regarding the immunology question and and particularly for that uh, the different types of T cells particularly all the CD CD4 CD8 CD27 and why uh, they are different type of cells for that generally they ask question regarding column 1 to matching from this part and then finally here unit 5 unit 5 is all about uh, the development biology and the development biology we need to talk about the overview of development that is for a basic example that's starting from uh, the egg and slowly the egg start dividing morula blastula gastrula and all the new relation then goes to uh, rest of the organogenesis and the properties fertilization in a sea urchin uh, fertilization is a part from which is most important in sea urchin and particularly here you need to know about the mechanism of uh, fertilization as well as you need to know about you know uh, those binding and binding receptors that help in fertilization you need to know the acrosomal process and what is it and all as well as you need to know the polyspermy prevention the slow block and fast block to polyspermy and how exactly they are done then cleavage and fertilization cleavage and fertilization is another very important cleavage and fertilization includes the types of cleavage that is meroblastic holoblastic cleavage discoidal cleavage rotational cleavage radial cleavage all these examples organizer concept that is regarding something uh, uh, experiments that involved in concrete our idea regarding organizer concept regarding for example you know henson's node uh, the nogging cord in the receptors that are involved as well as you know spamman mangold organizer concepts like that and uh, new cup center for example okay gastrulation gastrulation in a frog is most important apart from the gastrulation in sea urchin is also equally important then uh, in the gastrulation, you need to know about the three different germ layers. From all these three layers, like endoderm, mesoderm, ectoderm, what organ structures are prepared. Then induction is an important step. You need to know vulva development in C. elegans, as well as uh, the formins, formation of lens tissue in uh, frogs. Development for Drosophila. Drosophila life cycle. How exactly Drosophila goes from an egg into an adult fly and the slow modifications. Drosophila gastrulation, particularly because they have a syncytial blastoderm. How syncytial blastoderm form into cellular blastoderm? How exactly the cellular blastoderm slowly modified in uh, and then convert and form structures like intercalated uh, disc-like structures uh, outside the body. There's imaginal discs and those imaginal discs that they form 
uh, from there they form different organ system how exactly this is done you need to know particularly the genetics of drosophila development you need to know about it in details including all the different set of genes like gap genes maternal inheritance genes pair rule genes segment polarity genes and homeotic genes and all you also need to know about the drosophila body segmentation mechanism uh, as well as uh, like you know uh, regarding a little part uh, say for the chicken embryogenesis and including in chicken embryogenesis new relation uh, of chicken particularly the primitive streak and uh, formation of primitive streak and the new relation process in chicken so that is uh, regarding the unit 5 of developmental biology portion unit 6 for csr ugc net exam and the most important topic for unit 6 or plant physiology from human uh, in, in the CSR UGC net exam are water potential. Water potential is uh, portions, they can ask a little bit questions, ascent of sap as well as the phloem loading and loading, the process of uh, physiological activities in plants. Photosynthesis is very very important including both the light reaction as well as Kelvin cycle, particularly what happens in photorespiration and why photorespiration is a huge loss and how exactly the loss of photorespiration is revived by the plant cell. That's what you need to prepare very well. And you also need to know about the C3 pathway for Kelvin cycle. You also need to talk about the C4 cycle. And that's also followed by, by C4 plants as well as CAM plants. And the similarity and differences between C3, C4 and CAM plants is very, very important. Remember that. And plant hormone basics uh, means all the five hormones. Oxygen, zibberylene, cytokinin, ethylene, abscisic acid. These five top hormones, uh, how they function, what are their importance and all. Particularly oxygen transport and signal how exactly oxygen get transported from one cell of the plant to the other cell via the form of IAA with the different oxygen transport channels Zibberylin and how Zibberylin functions Zibberylin signaling abscisic acid what is abscisic acid how it functions and signaling or abscisic acid ethylene particularly ethylene signaling because ethylene is the only gaseous hormone and how ethylene signaling works that is really really important cytokinin and function of cytokinin how it signals and ultimately plant secondary metabolites plant secondary metabolites includes all all the topics particularly uh, you know the secondary metabolites like alkaloids terpenes and you know uh, phenolic compounds and all of it particularly things that you need to remember and the question will be memory based questions but particularly the questions including uh, their structure and sometimes mostly their functions and where they are extracted from so you need to know about the secondary metabolites how they are produced from which plants they are produced and all okay Okay guys, so that's it for the very first part of the CSR net most important topics for CSR net life sciences exam in the upcoming times. So in the next uh, lecture, we are going to talk about the most important topics for CSR net life science from unit 7 to unit 13. So that's for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends so that they can also get to know the most important topic for CSR net exam. Thank you very much for watching. Good night.